So, uh, further to my thoughts on the uh, situation with the curly cable. This, which I think is <laughs> just rubbish, I've uh, just come up with a solution that will, you know, save any damage to the sockets on the yoke. Um, all I've done is taken a standard Ethernet cable. I've cable tied it to the shaft, which you can see. Obviously, it stops just short of. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit further away than full travel and uh, you'll notice that there is absolutely no movement on the socket. You just need to position this cable into a, a neutral position so there's no strain on here at all. Same pretty much the other end. All I've done is wrap the cable in a coil and tucked it under the uh, clamp for the yoke and uh, now there is absolutely no movement on any of the sockets doesn't matter what movement you do there's no strain whatsoever and I would suggest to anyone <laughs> who is buying uh, one of these or using one of these that they should uh, implement the same modification that way you will be avoiding any possible damage uh, over time to the Ethernet sockets. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully that helps. No doubt someone will come up with a nicer, neater solution, but for me that works absolutely fine. There is no movement on those plugs whatsoever in any any position so for me that's uh, perfect and not uh, not too un uh, you know not too uh, messy probably yellow wasn't the best choice but it was the most flexible cable i had anyway i hope that helps and uh, as you can see it is uh, working perfectly so a standard cable fortunately has been used they could have made things a little more tricky if they had used the non-standard uh, wiring that way we would have had to have uh, worked the wiring out and made up our own uh, cable so that would have turned into a, an hour's work rather than a couple of minutes work but uh, yeah that is how I have solved any future issues with strain damage on these uh, sockets.